So I finally had the opportunity to play Modern Warfare Zombies, and I feel like I just have to talk about my experience. Now let me preface everything I'm about to say by I went into this mode with an open mind. I don't actively try to hate anything before I play it, I want to give everything a fair chance. I knew a little bit about Modern Warfare Zombies when I was heading into playing it for the first time, but there was some things that still caught me by surprise that I didn't even know about before playing Modern Warfare Zombies. But off rip, playing this mode for the first time, I'm not entirely sold on it. The only reason I even had the opportunity to play this mode is because COD is doing some free play days for MW3, and Zombies is just one of those modes you're able to play. So I figured I'd have nothing to lose by trying this out except my time. So I did just that. Now going into Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, I knew that this was an open world Zombies game. It takes place on the Warzone map, so there's no uniqueness in terms of it's not a completely unique map, though there are some set pieces and dressing and color schemes that are different than the typical Warzone map, but this mode largely just takes place on the Warzone map. There's not too much of a difference, like I said, there are some added things here and there, but for the most part, the layout is going to be what you would expect from the Warzone map. It's basically the exact same. Loading into this mode for the first time, uh, you're going to notice that you're going to spawn in the tier 1 area. Very easy, it's kind of laughably easy to survive through after you get a little bit set up. After a few games where you're going to be able to extract and, and get your items, you're probably going to be pretty powerful just in zone 1. So immediately upon spawning after a game or two, you're going to be pretty well set up. You're going to be well equipped to at least handle zone 1 without too many issues there's going to be a couple hiccups here and there but for the most part zone one is very easy though you do start off weak in comparison to the later tiers so obviously the first time you're going to boot up into modern warfare zombies you're not going to have too much you're not going to have a lot of the schematics or things to bring in to upgrade your stuff early so you're going to be pretty weak in zone one for your first couple games but after that it's going to get very easy those higher tiers though are where it is a little bit more fun a little bit more enjoyable you got to put a little bit more thought into what you do zone two a little bit more of a challenge in zone three you better be really well prepared if you're going to dive deep into there because the zombies are going to be a lot more lethal there's feels like there's going to be more of them and whatnot so make sure you're all set up as you're going through the tiers in this game so tier one pretty easy it's going to be pretty hard to die i mean there's going to be a couple times you might get overwhelmed if you don't have stuff early on but zone one all in all, very easy to go through. Zone 2, a little bit harder, more of a challenge, though still, again, not entirely difficult to get through once you get PAP level 1 and you have at least a, a blue or purple weapon. Zone 3, again, where it's going to get a lot more harder, you want to make sure you're fully equipped to, to deal with the threats in there. So I kind of like the layout of that, where um, if you're not doing typical zombie rounds, the zones are a nice change of pace. So those people who really only want a super casual mode can go in and stick with tier one and where it's going to be pretty easy. But if you want more of a challenge, you can dive deep into those, those further tiers, go for some better rewards. There are no rounds, as I previously stated, so the only way to change the difficulty is by going into those higher tiers. It really just feels like DMZ with zombies. If you play DMZ from MW2, it really just feels like that. It's the exact same like feeling of what you're doing. You're just going around doing contracts, doing your objectives, and there just happens to be zombies spawning. So I didn't hate DMZ when it was out, but it wasn't a mode that really stayed with me. I felt like it didn't have a lot of staying power, and I feel like that Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is the exact same way, where it really just feels like DMZ with zombies, and it's, it's just not that interesting to me. Modern Warfare Zombies is also not very solo friendly. Typically, you're going to end up spawning in with a squad. You can have the option to not have anybody in your squad, but for the most part, it's beneficial for you to do so. That way, you can get revived and whatnot. But unless everybody in your squad is talking and actually coordinating, realistically, you're probably going to be alone for a decent chunk of this. Uh, and if people die, they tend to quit. I mean, that happens in a lot of Battle Royale games, too, where if a squad mate of yours dies, though the fact that you could still get them back after the fact, a lot of people will just quit. So it ends up being the first 10 minutes are me running around with my squad. One of them goes down and they immediately leave the game. So we're already at a disadvantage there. Given other squads, because there's not just four of you in Modern Warfare Zombies, other squads are able to help you out. So that is a, a nice benefit that if your squad leaves you, other squads can come help you. You can put out a call for help. I like that, but just keep that in mind. If you're someone who really likes the solo experience of Zombies, Modern Warfare Zombies might not be it for you. You can do it. It's just not going to be very easy. And as with any public match type thing, 
don't expect your teammates to be the greatest ever. There is opportunity for them to be good, but uh, don't come expecting it. Sometimes when you're running around on this map, there's just no zombies. There's a lot of running around in MWZ. It's just a big map, so it's not super densely populated with a ton of zombies. You're going to have moments where you're just sprinting for minutes on end. It feels like a battlefield game where you're just running and running and running and haven't come across anything. Some zombies will spawn in, but usually not hordes. I'm not expecting Left 4 Dead 2 levels of zombie density. I'm not expecting hordes to just keep running at you through and through, but it really did feel like there was a lot of downtime when I was playing this mode. There wasn't too many instances where I'm just being completely overwhelmed. It's, uh, you'll have a horde or two come and get you, you're doing an objective, and then after that, you kill them off and you're just going to have nothing for a little bit. That's really what it felt like. You're doing your objectives and there's not too many zombies outside of that unless you're actively searching for these objectives. There are super sprinters in this, which I was not expecting initially. I don't know why it didn't cross my mind, but that's where the difficulty can come into the tier one if you have not very good weapons or no perks in tier one those super sprinters can really come for you and they can really get you down pretty quick so i do like the addition of them uh they can be a little bit annoying to deal with but it adds that little extra air of challenge those little super sprinter guys so it's it's a welcome addition in my eyes but be cautious if you decide to play this and you're running off alone because those guys they can get you down pretty easily your contracts are going to be your main source of income. Like in DMZ, you go to a phone, ping it, you you equip an objective, and you go and do it. That's going to be your main source of income for Modern Warfare Zombies. You still get points from killing zombies, but it's not a ton because the opportunity is that once you're doing objectives, a ton of zombies will spawn. So I guess if it was the traditional point system that zombies has, you really would be getting a ton of points in the early games when you're doing objectives so mainly if you're gonna want to upgrade your stuff and you're gonna want to survive longer you're gonna need to do these contracts that's your best way to get money there's also some little side objectives scattered around that aren't officially contracts but still fun things to do I find myself really enjoying hunting down the spores. You'll see it on the map. It'll be a building, and it will have some some mist coming out of it. That's how you know that it's infected with spores. You go in kill a bunch of spores it varies depending on the size of the building and then after that you get your rewards a max ammo you get a loot cache that has some varying degrees of utility some better weapons maybe some perks but i really like doing those those little side objectives some of the main objectives can be a little annoying i don't know why i really really enjoy taking down the spore houses so i really enjoyed that again there's a variety of things to do in this some side objectives the main objectives the main quest there's a variety of things to do if you just want to jump into this and just have kind of a open sandbox for you to play with. Your loadouts, you can really choose whatever you want initially. You have, like in DMZ, your insured weapons slot, so you can actually equip a weapon that you like to use that you know is good and customize it in the gunsmith to your liking. I enjoy that addition. Kind of feels like uh, DMZ and Cold War Zombies where you can select whatever weapon you want to go in with. So I really enjoy that. Being able to customize your own weapon is something that I think Zombies has always benefited from. It's never been a detriment, I would say. Sure, some guns are going to be more powerful than others with certain attachments, but, but overall, I like the fact that you can, you can customize your weapons here. Again, like in DMZ, Modern Warfare Zombies is all about getting the best equipment possible and X-filling. If you die and leave the game without X-filling, you're going to lose anything you came in with or anything you picked up. So if you had a gas mask, a tier 3 vest, you have upgrades that you've gotten, some ether tools, and you die and you're not going to exfil, you're going to lose those items. So there is a risk. So when you're in those tier 3 areas and you have really good items with you, your incentive to survive is the fact that you would lose all of those items with you. Again, I don't absolutely hate the formula of DMZ and I don't hate it in zombies, but it's just not something I can find myself just consistently coming back to once I finish the main grind of it. It's fun. It's not the worst thing ever, but let that be known that you're not getting traditional zombies with, with MWZ. There, again, as I stated earlier, there's lots of running. Lots of running around or getting in vehicles just to go to these contracts, go to this objective, get this perk, do this, do that. Things are so spread out because it's such a large map that you're going to have a lot of downtime here. 
And the issue with all the downtime is, is there is a time limit in Modern Warfare Zombies. I believe it's about 45 minutes. So from the moment you spawn into the game, you have 45 minutes to do whatever it is you want. And honestly, if you're taking your time and trying to get from Tier 1 to Tier 3, you're probably going to run out of time before you get there. It's really about being fast and efficient and coming in with the best equipment possible. So if you're just starting off in the MWZ, you're not going to be able to get in your first game and probably easily get to Tier 3. You're probably going to run out of time, and once time is running out you have to go to an exfil station if you want to get your items and, and leave with them there is human ai in modern warfare zombies which is another one of those things that i had no idea about going into this some of the objectives when you're completing them and while you're completing them the humans will spawn so it was a little different i have enemies actually shooting at you for once as opposed to what the manglers do and whatnot but yeah actual enemies with bullets can spawn whether it be at strongholds or some of the objectives you do Again, not entirely difficult to take them out, but there can be a lot of them, so if you're going off alone, there's a real opportunity for you to actually go down and, and die and lose all your stuff if your teammates are not with you. I haven't even completed the main quest of Modern Warfare Zombies. I know you basically kill a giant ether worm, there's some more cutscenes and whatnot. That requires a lot of coordination. You need a squad with you that knows what they're doing, actually wants to complete this, and you can't just do it with one squad. I think you need multiple squads, at least two or three, to actually take down the ether worm I, th I know it's something that takes a lot of firepower and a lot of coordination to do haven't done that myself i imagine it's fun to do you can only really activate it to my knowledge at the end game while that circle is closing in that's when you're able to complete this something i haven't done yet but i do know it's there so i know it's something that's a, that's another thing that if you're playing modern warfare zombies and you like doing those quests those easter eggs which i like to do that's something there for you Overall, Modern Warfare Zombies I found to be fine. I sang a lot of praise for it. There's a lot of things in this that I genuinely enjoy, and I'm not having a not good time playing it. I'm having fun playing Modern Warfare Zombies, but it's something I don't really see myself sticking around with. It's not going to be the reason I even purchased this game. I have not purchased Modern Warfare 3, and playing MWZ isn't going to make me do that. It's not worth the price of $70 or even if it's on sale for $45. I'd pay maybe 20 bucks to play MWZ. That's if it's on a super discounted sale or if it came on Game Pass, I would definitely grind it out. But Modern Warfare Zombies I found to be pretty mid. It was fine for the experience that I had, but it's nothing to write home about. You know, it's not going to be that grandiose thing like Der Eisendrock was or any of the other mainline round-based zombies maps. It's a fine experience, it's a fun experience, but not one that really is going to hold a lot of staying power. It's fun for what it is, but it's nothing that I can really see too many people playing for a stupid long time. That's really my thoughts on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you buy MW3? Are you playing MWZ? Let's continue this conversation, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!